healthy, collaborative, purpose-driven culture is the single greatest contributor to creating a competitive advantage. That brand of culture doesn't happen by accident. This book is a result of my life's work as a businessman and collaborator to some extraordinary leaders. I have observed and taught the principles in this book. They have become indispensable to me. My hope is that they will become so for you as well. I have worked in the business world for over three decades, both as a business owner and as an advisor to other business leaders. I have discovered that although there are plenty of informative books and training on how to build a successful business and become a better leader, there is a gap between being a great leader and building a successful business. Culture resides in that gap. Without the right culture, your organization will not have the strength or sustainability to endure competitor challenges, react to market shifts, survive economic downturns, or capture opportunities. It is nearly impossible to be an effective leader without a focused effort on creating the appropriate culture for your organization. Thriving leaders know this, but knowing is not enough. Selfless servant leaders with character steeped in humility build great cultures. C.S. Lewis said, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. I believe this to be true. These humble leaders think more about the people within the organization. They are constantly measuring everything they do against what's best for the people they serve and the organization they lead. They know that the organizational brilliance comes from the collective brilliance of those they've been entrusted to lead. They know excellence hinges on creating an environment, think culture, that extracts and inspires the best from each employee. These leaders are confident, bold, courageous, and have a bias toward action. Because they know failure is often a necessary path to success, they're not afraid to take risks. But it is not their confident nature, bold approach, or courageous action-oriented personalities that inspire those around them. It's their thinking of themselves less attitude that inspires. And that, my friend, is built around culture. Selfless leaders constantly measure everything they do against what's best for the people they serve because they feel an obligation to unleash the power within every individual in the organization. The true greatness of any organization is revealed in moments of achievement, adversity, uncertainty, setbacks, and opportunity. What gets revealed in those moments reflects the organization's culture and the leaders who shape it. I wrote this book for all leaders. If you are already a selfless leader, it is my desire that you become an even better version of yourself. If you are not currently a selfless leader or aren't sure, my hope is that you become one after reading this book. You can partner with your people to build an exceptional organization. You can become the kind of leader who has the power to ignite those around you, to make everyone better to foster a desire to accomplish great things together, to inspire people to go beyond what they believed possible, and to passionately serve the organization's purpose. I know that sounds like a lot, but it is possible. So this book is your roadmap to building a culture that people fall in love with, willingly promote, and vigorously protect and defend.